So Ms. Willie, think back to before you came to see me. How long did you wait before you made that decision? I waited about a week before I came to see you. Um, I did go to a, see a, a doctor first um, because I was in a lot of pain. And the um, solution I got from them was uh, they prescribed some medications and then it was a kind of a situation where it was just rest. And at the time I had some stuff I was, I wanted to do. I had a powerlifting meet coming up. And so um, if, if there was a way for me to get back moving quickly or faster than just waiting to see what happened, that's what I wanted to do. And um, a few people at the gym recommended you very highly. I love it. I love it. So why did you feel like you had to wait that long? Um, just because I, at the time, um, it never crossed my mind to see a physical therapist first. Um, I think a lot of times when people have pains, me included, my first thought is, okay, I need to go see a doctor. I need to have medicine or something like that. And um, I, I just didn't know, you know, there was a better option for me. Yeah, and that's pretty common, um, especially in today's healthcare world. Um, but let's talk about your particular problem. What exactly was going on and how bad was that? So essentially what happened is I was in the process of training. Um, I didn't have any particular incident where I felt like I pulled something or injured something like on the spot. Um, I had just gone home after training, sat down for a couple of hours, and then I was almost unable to stand up. Like I was in excruciating pain. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of what started the whole thing. That sounds pretty rough. Uh, what were you missing out on? What was that, you know, preventing you from doing? Um, I couldn't sit in a chair. Okay. Driving was an issue. Um, obviously, I couldn't train or exercise. And so, you know, those are two things that were uh, take up the bulk of my day. Yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty immobile. I'm sorry to hear that. What did you try other than, you know, you said you went to the physician. He gave you some medicine, told you to rest. Did you try anything else? Um, they were they were just kind of like, you know, wait and see, come back and see us in a couple of weeks. And at the time, there was not really any um, other suggestion other than, OK, take these medicines and see what happens. Gotcha. What was your understanding of PT before you came to see me? Honestly, um, I, I did sort of think at some point that this feels kind of like, you know, a sciatica kind of thing that I've had before. And I thought, well, you know, I've already done those stretches. I don't need those. <laughs> gotcha. So you, you didn't think it was going to be helpful? No, because I just thought, you know, that was a very typical treatment for um, that kind of pain was do this, do this cross leg stretch. <laughs> gotcha. And so when you did come to see me, was that what you got or what? what no, was actually. Difference? And that's that's really one of the things that sold me was because you didn't start with that at all. You know, you're very intent upon understanding like what I was trying to do. Um, you weren't, you were, you were very focused on trying to get me back to the movement that I wanted to be doing. And so, um, I did the exercises and the things that we went through and the things we worked on. I had never done those before. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, and now that you've been to see me, um, you know, quote unquote, an experienced PT, if you had a family or a friend member going through pain or similar stuff and they were procrastinating, uh, what would you tell them? I would definitely recommend that they seek treatment. And if, if they can see you, I would recommend it. And I've actually recommended you to many people because I, I tell them, I said, this not, he's not, he's not your typical PT. He's going to work with you to get you back to where you need to be. I love that. So, um, what was one of the best things you liked about working with me other than just kind of the understanding and me wanting to get you back to your life? Um, I learned things like, you know, um, that, just because you might be having a, a pain or an injury that, um, you know, the best treatment isn't always just to be immobile and not move around. And um, you also convinced me <laughs> basically that, you know, there were exercises that I had avoided in the past that probably would be beneficial to me overall. And I, I remember one specific thing I was like, oh, I can't do that. And you were like, oh, why not? <laughs> and you you actually have convinced me to do things and try things that I have avoided in the past. That's that's wonderful. And that's what life's about, you know, getting back into the full swing of things, doing the stuff that you really want to, but maybe you've been missing out on, right? Yeah. Um, so if somebody's out there, they're currently you know a little skeptical about going to PT, they're undecided, um, what would you tell them?
uh, I would definitely tell them my story. Mm-hmm. I would tell them what, you know, I had the same, you know, if we have the same kind of reservations initially, I would try to convince them that, you know, it's really to your benefit to be moving versus not moving. That's, that's wonderful. Um, and the one, one thing that you wanted to achieve by coming to see me, the number one thing, um, did we help you achieve it? Absolutely. I love uh, beyond it. that, actually. I love that. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to add to this? I, of course, I thank you very much because you really have had a very positive impact on my life physically and I value your opinion as a friend as well so I, I really have enjoyed the opportunity to work with you on a professional level and to know you as a person that's perfect <laughs>